Yo, what is happening guys? I hope everybody's doing well today and welcome back to another Bleach Immortal Souls video. In this video, I will be going over the defense Akura Akura Town event and I'm going to be basically sharing my team and my strategy with you guys just to show you like how I can I guess maximize my damage or show you a good example of maybe a good team that you can run. Now obviously this is going to be my opinion but you know this team is working pretty well for me. As you guys can see I was able to get my 20 million not 20 million, 20 coins, and I was able to do around like 42 million damage, I believe. Now, if you guys take a look, a lot of people in my server are not hitting 20. We got 120 right here. Um, so, including myself, we only got two 20s in the server so far, which shows you that people are struggling to get their 20 coins. Like, the average was like 17 to 19, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be sharing my strategy with you guys. Um, the team I run and all that good stuff and maybe give you some tips as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the team that I used um, for that round. So this was the team that I used for the Aizen boss. Um, so this is a DOT team. It's like a bleed slash burn team with a bunch of DOT damage. Now the main man of the team is 100% going to be Okiora. Uh, reason number one is he gives a boost to DOT attack so your DOT stacks will do way more damage. He also has an ability where he allows your team to deal 10% 10, 10 more damage to the boss Aizen which is really good obviously and he also heals all of your team which is even better because it is actually a little hard to survive in that event for a lot of people. So Okiora is an incredible support in this team. And he also does burn damage himself and he boosts DLT. So Okiora is literally like kind of made for like, you know, these type of PvE events. But yeah, um, so Okiora is the main man. He literally gives stupid amounts of support to your team. And then the second man I got right here is going to be Aizen. Now, there is no particular real reason for why I'm using Aizen other than damage. You guys can definitely replace him with someone else. Also, you know, if you're looking to do something similar, I definitely think you do need Okiora because Okiora is a really important asset in this team, especially a DOT team. But everybody else other than Okiora can pretty much be replaced, honestly. I, I would definitely run Kimpachi because he's an amazing support and a really, really good damage dealer. But everybody is, you know, replaceable. Now, if you don't have Okiora, I would probably just do a pure damage team because it'll probably end up doing more damage than a DOT team anyways. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, um, Aizen just does really, really high amounts of damage. He has a chance to disorient. And he also lowers defense, which allows my team to do more damage. So overall, I'm just using Aizen for damage. Um, why Ichigo is a really good character to run in this team because he does um, bleed out the enemy. And DOT, like I said, is being boosted by Okiora. And he just does also, you know, really good amounts of damage himself. And for every bleeding DOT stack the enemy has, he does do like an extra 10% on his mastery skill. So that's really nice as well. Um, and then we got Kenpachi right here. Um, I think Kenpachi speaks for himself. He's an absolute monster. He gives crit chance to your back row. And his mastery skill does crazy amounts of damage. You know, if you use the Uri War Soul, even without it, it's really, really good. Yeah, Mamoto does burn damage and he just does, you know, a really high damage and also reduces rage. So Yamamoto is pretty much for it, damage and DOT. And Nell is also for damage and DOT. Um, she does bleed DOT to the enemy and her mastery skill does a really high amount of damage. Now, War Souls wise for um, Aizen, I put a War Soul of Armor on him. And also, uh, what is it called? War Soul of Joshua. So Joshua is War Soul and War Soul of Armor. And then I, on Okiora, I also put a War Soul of Armor on him. And the War Soul that I used on him was Orihime's War Soul, so he can, you know, heal the team a little more. On Ichigo, I used uh, War Soul of Crit, and I also used the Aizen's War Soul. For Kimpachi, um, I used, uh, what is it called? The one that's not Crit. <laughs> Wraith, yeah, uh, War Soul of Wrath or Wraith? Hold up, I, I gotta check this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, but let's see here. So, yeah, okay, it is Wrath. I was tripping. But yeah, so for Kampachi, I used Warsoul of Wrath, and I just used a secondary damage Warsoul on him, and I believe it was on Getsu's. And then pretty much for Nell and Yamamoto, same thing. Literally, damage Warsouls on them. But you get the point. Um, now let me go ahead and show you guys the gameplay. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and commentate over the whole gameplay because I pretty much explained 
you know what I do pretty much already with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and play some music for you guys and the video is just gonna end right after you know the gameplay is over so as always if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and you know turn on notifications if you keep watching my videos because a lot of you guys don't but anyways guys thank you very much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day enjoy the music